Roger Maris, high number, all-star card. Mm-hmm. Nice looking card. Um, then in 1986, Flair Basketball set spot with a possible Michael Jordan PSA 6. And a 1958 and 59 Tops Baseball set spots. So we'll give out four prizes to the four folks that are in this break. Thanks again for letting us open it live on the PSA Vintage Break Show. All right, let's roll the dice. SJ5 is going to randomize the list six times. A little shout out to our friends at sportscollectorsdaily.com and Ryan from auctionreport.com. Thanks for your support. Two great websites, um, both hobby related. If you need to know anything about auctions, the end dates, consignment dates, all that good stuff, check out auctionreport.com. And for all of your hobby news, I implore you, please, check out Richie and his writing. Um, he's got incredible content on the site, both that comes out uh, every week, as well as literally thousands of articles in his archive. Sportscollectorsdaily.com. Ooh, this is exciting. I don't uh, get to open too many packs these days, so to be able to get right into the chair and open something like this is uh, is very fun. Yeah, but you don't open packs, but boy, Vintage Breaks open a lot of packs. Every time I'm on Facebook, yeah. you guys are opening something. Yes, we do. We now have over 9,000 videos, which you can find our archive at youtube.com slash vintage breaks, and you could watch anything from a 1984 Donner's pack being opened to a 1967 Opeachy baseball pack that were being opened, or that's being opened. Um, a fun fact about Opeachy Baseball, first, much tougher to find uh, than its Topps counterpart. Second of all, um, the only rationale as to why I think there's four cards a pack and not five the way that Topps had is yeah. because the set wasn't as big. So in Opeachy, it was 196 cards. Oh, in, sure. In Topps, it was 600-something. And even though they issued it by series, in the end, it was 600-something cards, whereas Opeachy was just one series. Right. Get them to buy more packs, right? Exactly. Great. Well, thanks, Monty. I appreciate you checking out Sports Collectors Daily. Rich is, uh, you know, great guy. Loves the hobby. Hey, Stephen. Thanks for joining us. What's up, Tim? All right. Thanks, Charles G. for the glasses. Not sure if Charles is watching, but uh, if he's watching, thanks again. And if not, these are they have the little VB logo right there. I love those. Now, Lou, I know. Uh, you're going to probably require some convincing, if, if not, you're a long shot, if you will, if you were, if you were going to determine the odds as a horse race for you coming to the National. However, if you do decide to come, there's a rumor that on Friday of the National, I'm not sure how formal it will be. It might just be me buying uh, you know, drinks and, and a bunch of apps and stuff. But we're going to try to hang out at Gibson's after the show. Oh. And uh, we're going to make sure Abraham buys the first round, of course. Uh, yeah, the uh, National is uh, still TBD. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'd love to see you out there, but, uh, you know, I know you have responsibilities, Lou. Some people may not think that. Every, nobody thinks that, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, we love you, but I'm not sure you think Lou has responsibilities, but he does. Nope. nope. <laughs> All right. And favorite summary, nobody knows what I does. Nobody knows what I do until I stop doing it. <laughs> like, wait a minute, yeah. Just Whoa. pushing buttons, Leighton. That's all it is. Wait, did I catch you? Yeah. Get out of here. That, uh -oh. that might be a distant. That might be a, a record. How J far away? J five is. I would say, guys, what is that? Ten feet? Eight feet? Yeah. 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 He's clear across the room, and he literally went like this. Like, ah, I just got burned. Oh, really? That yeah, bad? Yeah. No, we caught him. Hey, what's up, Jim? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> no way. Oh. <laughs> is he bleeding? He said he was bleeding, but he was messing with me, so that's uh. good. I think he wants workman's comp. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Stuart, uh, just be careful, bud. You're right in the line of fire. Okay. Let's save the. Uh, Guys, gonna need a drum shield there or something. We're gonna have to do something for the national. Like you know how they're talking about netting all across MLB. Yes. It's very much part of the VB plan for the national. Like we need netting. Yes. You know, if you know, it'll be temporary though. So like you know, you know, like people have awnings, they reel them in off the porch, and they go back out. Like, yep. I just need real, just simple netting. <laughs> just hand out vintage breaks umbrellas. <laughs> they can put them up while you're breaking the pack. I got to tell you, Lou, that's probably the best idea I've heard, you know, not just all day, but all week. And we've been working on all sorts of national stuff. Yep. Did you hear that? VB umbrellas. I like it. Vintage break, dead nut centered umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on a few promos, Lou, that are going to be uh, interactive at the national, meaning... Folks are going to be able to show up at our booth at certain times of the day throughout the week. 
to claim uh, to claim prizes, like little prize packages. And we're going to give out some really great stuff every day of the National. Nice. Well, yeah, you guys give out great stuff every day, so. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, oh, this is an interesting one. Oh, excuse me. It was supposed to pop right off. <laughs> All right, the surgeon has to get a little closer. Oh, there we go. Just kind of stuck. It'll be off at once. You should have some of those gloves, like when you cut fish, so you don't <laughs> cut yourself. Exactly. I don't even know dismissed. Chain mail gloves. All right, great. There we go. Yeah, don't want to damage the those back. edges have to be sharp of those things. Oh, most certainly. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. So, J5, just remind me at the end, we have to do the random of the four prizes as well. Okay. So, good luck to Mark, Kurt, John A., and Mark again has a second spot. Uh, I think we've talked about Mark before. So, Mark is a fan of Vintage Breaks, right? He, uh, he visits us, hangs out with us. So, Mark is from Montana. However, his boys, his kids... They mm -hmm. love the Red Sox. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. that's right. We talked about him last week. Yep. So uh, I'm not sure if he'll be upset if he gets a Mickey Mantle. My guess is he won't be upset, uh, oh. as that is the big that is the big hit. But, you know, Mark, if you get a Mantle out of this pack and you're not happy or pleased with it, I'll trade you some Red Sox for it. All right. Uh, those kids luck. feel about the Red Sox bullpen. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the first card will be right underneath the gum. That's going to go to you, Mark. The last card will be on the other side. Mark, ironically, that's yours as well. I'm going to clear off the uh, space here. Have you ever been to Montana? I'd love to see Montana. No, I'd like to go to Montana and Oregon. And my chance of going there is when we take Crosby to see my sister, who now lives in Seattle. Her husband's in the military. Yeah. Um, and so they were supposed to come this summer. I, th I don't think they're going to be able to, unfortunately. So we're going to try to visit out there uh, in the next, let's say, 6 to 12 months. Um, and if we do, we're either going to do um, uh, Disney potentially in Northern California, um, or we might do like the Oregon and Montana, like, you know, visit a few places of Crosby, but yep. I'm sure it's going to be Disney because Crosby <laughs> is probably not ready for nature yet. <laughs> I've always wanted to do the cross country drive too. Route 66 out there. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. All right. So the first card is on the other side, folks. <laughs> Sean says DNC branded eye patches. Uh, oh god! <laughs> All right, I'm trying to preserve the wrapper, but I'd rather preserve the cards. So let's focus on that. All right, great. So there is the gum. I'm gonna use this right here. Spot one mark is yours. That is Ray Washburn. And let's see if the gum comes right off. And if not, I'll leave it for now. I'll deal with it later. That's what we'll do, Mark. Oof, of course, it's a very well centered card, which is cool. We just have to deal with that. Gum issue. A little bit off left to right, but still a very, very nice card. There we go. Uh, yeah. Ray Washburn. It's amazing to think what these things go for today, and yet kids in Canada were, I mean, I, I don't know if they cared about the gum or not, you know, maple syrup uh, country, you know, who knows. But <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, these cards are really, really crisp, and it must have been fun to have a lot less cards in a series to go through. Right than, um, you know, the top's counterpart, therefore having hopefully a better chance of getting a star. So the Dick Raditz here is card number two. That's going uh, out to you, Kurt. Love Dick Raditz. I think Kurt is from Iowa, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I think Kurt may be coming to the National as well. So thanks again for participating, Kurt. A little bit off-center, unfortunately, on Dick. But, uh, you know, very sharp-looking card. Some team's got to bring back the uh, vest uniform. That's got to come back. Or at least, like, why not for a day a year? I mean, you know, MLB tries to squeeze revenue out of everything. Like, I'd buy a sleeveless, right. you know, yep. jersey for Cross. Maybe not for me, you know. Um, all right. Al Jackson, spot three. So this is going out to you, John A. John, hopefully you're watching. Appreciate your support. Unfortunately, Al Jackson is a little bit off-centered. And the last card in the pack is John Romano from the cards, Cardinals. So no major star or Hall of Famer in this one, unfortunately, guys. No. Nope. But we got some sharp-looking cards, and we appreciate the opportunity to allow us to open this 1967 Opeachy Baseball Wax Pack for you folks. That, when did the beginning of card companies being uh, starting to understand collecting and the value of collecting? Was this card set a, a response to that? Like a four-card set seems... Oh, uh, I mean four cards? No, I just think that Tops thought that they could sell cards in Canada. Oh, I see. And they didn't think that people would buy Tops. 
uh, because they thought of it as an American company. So I think that that's how Opeachy baseball cards came to be because they right. already knew that people were buying Opeachy hockey, right? Um, so uh, you know that's my, that's my guess. Yep. Um, and to be fair, they probably didn't worry about the set only being 196 cards because baseball wasn't the pastime in Canada. It's hockey. Right. So, you know, there's lots of reasons why. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so let me give you that, and let's randomize the list. J5 with the four prizes. There we go. You roll the dice. Okay, great. This is for the four uh, bonus prizes in the 67 OPG baseball. We're going to randomize the list three times. Person on top will get the 60 tops of Maris. So, Lou, right after we do the random for this, uh, I want to make sure uh, we give you an opportunity to tell folks about um, sharing their feedback as to why, you know, they think they should, uh, you know, get um, some vintage cards from us here at Vintage Breaks and Just Collect for their son or daughter, for their niece or nephew, their cousins. Uh, we call it the Vintage Breaks Vintage Cards of the Week for kids. Yes. We give that usually away at the end of the show. And right. And we, we have you hand select that individual. Yes. Uh, we want uh, people to send in. Give us a little story about the child that you want us to give the vintage card to. We want to get the kids started, bring in the next generation. What I'm looking for, what I like, what I've picked out is it, how it uh, embellishes relationships between uh, kids and their parents and kids and their grandparents. I have some good stories about that. So uh, let us know how we can help you out to get your uh, son or daughter started in card collecting. That's great, Lou. I appreciate you, uh, you doing that. Um, these are the four winners. Uh, Kurt, you've won the 60 Tops Maris. Very nice card. Mark, you walked away with an 86 clear basketball set spot and a 50, 58 Tops baseball set spot. And John A., you got yourself a 1959 Tops baseball set spot. Thanks again. 